Hi, I'm Professor Robert Morrison. I'm a British Academy Global Professor at Bath Spa University, and I'm sitting in the Jerwood Center of the Wordsworth Trust, and I am beside uh, the most important letter, I think, that Thomas de Quincey ever wrote. It's a letter that he wrote to Wordsworth in May 1803. And part of the reason this letter is so extraordinary is that de Quincey was only 14 years old and living in Bath as a schoolboy at Bath Grammar School when he read in manuscript a poem by Wordsworth called We Are Seven, a beautiful poem by Wordsworth called We Are Seven. And de Quincey read it and knew right away that Wordsworth was the most important poet since John Milton wrote Paradise Lost in 1667. And the fact that de Quincey knew and then spent the next four years trying to find a way of introducing himself to Wordsworth uh, culminates when he writes this letter of 31 May 1803. And he is at that point uh, almost 17, he's 17, almost um, 18. And in this letter, he says to Wordsworth, in effect, I have read your poetry, it has transformed my life in the ways that we now recognize and celebrate Wordsworth for. De Quincey's uh, uh, understanding and uh, uh, insight into Wordsworth poetry at such a young age is one of the most remarkable things about him, I think. Um, it takes De Quincey, Wordsworth invites him to Dove Cottage, which is only a few feet away from where I'm sitting, and it takes De Quincey quite a while to find the courage to come and actually knock on Wordsworth's door. But finally, in uh, November 1807, he and Wordsworth meet, and two years later, De Quincey moves into Dove Cottage. And it is in Dove Cottage that he begins to conceive of an article on opium. And that leads in 1821 to his most famous work, Confessions of an English Opium Eater, which launches De Quincey to fame and uh, uh, puts him on one of the most remarkable careers as a prose writer in all of English literature, I believe. It is this letter, the most important one he wrote, that starts his career with Wordsworth and really helps De Quincey uh, imagine himself as a writer. Um, it's an extraordinary letter and a great pleasure to be uh, uh, able to look at it today.